Hello class! This is now the third day of your English Module 2. I hope that you finish answering the activities I have given last lesson. This time, let us continue with the remaining activities in your module. Please get your English Module 2. Before we go on, let's try to do this activity first. In this activity, we have to arrange the following words. Ready? Okay, number one. Amor, Christina, Bethel, and Debra. What will come first? Very good! It will be Amor. How about the next one? Right! It will be Bethel. Then, correct! It will be Christina. And lastly, Good job! The last one will be Debra. Next, number two. Flamingo, tiger, whale, and horse. What word will come first? Great! Flamingo will come first. How about the second one? Really good! It will be the horse. The next one. Amazing! It will be the tiger. Lastly, very nice. The last will be the whale. Last number three. School, church, market, and clinic. What word will come first? Really good! It will be the church. The next one will be... Alright! The clinic. The third one... Very good! It will be the market. And the last one is... Correct! The last one will be the school. Were you able to arrange the words? So great! But if you get confused and don't understand how we arrange the words, let's find out how. So class, what we have done with our activity a while ago is what we call alphabetizing. Let's define what is alphabetizing first. Alphabetizing is arranging letters or words in alphabetical or ascending order. Basically, alphabetizing is arranging the words in alphabetical order, which you start with letter A and the last letter will be letter Z. How to alphabetize? Just look at the first letter of the words to be arranged. If the words have the same first letter, then look at the second letter. If the second letter is still the same, then look at the third letter. Just like what we have done with the number 3 in our activity a while ago. Church and clinic have the same first letter. So, we looked at the second letter and concluded that church will come first before the clinic. I hope that you were able to understand the concept of alphabetizing. This time, let us see if you can apply what we have discussed in the next activity. There is another way to arrange words alphabetically and it is through writing numbers. See this example. Observe that we have two words that starts with the same letter. It's the bag and the book. So, we are going to look to the second letter to identify what will be the number 1. So, our number 1 is the bag and the number 2 is the book. Because letter A comes first before the letter O. Our number 3 is the crayons. 
And the last number is the pen. Next example. Our number one is the airplane because it starts with letter A. The number two is the card because it starts with letter C. And the number three is the ship because S comes first before the T. So our last number is the train. What have you observed with the examples? You are right! We put numbers to arrange the words in alphabetical order. Unlike with our first activity that we will write the words in their proper order. Always remember class that the concept is still the same in arranging the words alphabetically on putting numbers and rearranging. Now, try to do this. Let's arrange the names of heavenly bodies. What will be the number one? Awesome! It will be the moon. The number two? Good! It will be the planets. The third one will be? Very nice! It will be the stars. And the last one, very good. The last one will be the sun because letter T comes first than the letter U. Next, let's try to arrange the names of flowers. What will be the first one? Good job! It's the cosmos. Next is the very well. The next one will be the lily. The third one will be... Fantastic! The third one will be the rose. Lastly... Right! The last one is the suntan. How did you find the activity? Were you able to arrange the words alphabetically? Really nice! But... If you find it difficult alphabetizing, please continue reviewing the examples. Did you have fun reading the story that I asked to read last time? I hope you do. Now, let's answer the questions based from the story you have read. Then, you write your answer in your module in a complete sentence. Number 1. Who are the children in the story? Tell something about them. Who are the children in the story? Tell something about them. Now, what is your answer? Sounds good! Please write your answer on the space provided in your module. Number two, what do you feel when you go to school? What do you feel when you go to school? What is your answer? Awesome! Write your answer now. Number three, if you were Cheryl, would you share snacks with Alvin? Why or why not? If you were Cheryl, will you share snacks with Alvin? Why or why not? Give me your answer. Really well. Please write your answer now. Last number four. How do you prepare for school? 
how do you prepare for school? Your answer is... Amazing! You may now write your answer. If you were able to answer the questions, excellent! If not, try to answer it and ask help from your parents. To the parent, please make sure that the construction of the sentences of your child are correct and also the spelling of the words are correct. Good job, class! We are now done with the third day of your module. For Thursday, you are going to answer the generalization on page 15, the developing mastery on page 16, the activity on page 17, and 18. For Friday, you are going to do the evaluating learning on page 19, the activity 2 on page 20, Activity 3 on page 21, Activity 4 on page 22, and the assignment on page 23. Read carefully the instruction in each activity. To the parent, you must assist your, ch your child in answering the activities. That is all for today's class. Please don't forget to do the activities for Thursday and Friday. Thank you so much for the...